Hello everyone. So I had another idea with the whole envelope fold out pieces. <coughs> this one was my first idea. The person suggested using an old envelope. So this is what I came up with. I'm not too sure how I feel about it, but I think it definitely fits. And then these out of some of the spare parts or pieces of the 12 by 12. So that was another set of fold out envelopes that I did. This is going to be my next set. Now, move this out of the way here. I'm going to try this a different way because I want it to line up correctly. that and then this piece I want again just to line it up correctly All right, so let's see what we can get out of this. Not sure, again, what I'm doing here. I'm just experimenting, trying to come up with some fun little envelopes and stuff like that. But I wanted them to be able to fold out where I want it to and everything. So that's how I'm basing it. It ain't perfect, but at least I, again, I'm making an effort to try making it as perfect as I can. I apologize if you hear banging around. My daughter, obviously, decided right now is the time to play. Alright, I'm going to just leave these inside for right now. And this part, I just glue down. I find it's a good idea to use my art glitter glue. Just because then I know it's going to stay where I want it.
again, I am trying to copy an image and I really don't know how exactly this person did these envelopes. So <laughs> when you're trying to make a copy of something but you're unsure, you kind of end up with what you get. You get what you get and you don't throw fit kind of situation. There we go. So, I mean, it is quite easy. To make these envelopes and I personally like to leave this part open so then you know that hey you can stick stuff in there so we got that going And I'm okay with this looking a little backwards. There's a fly hanging out and I really don't like the fly but Oh well, all that runs through my mind is there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. <laughs> okay. I have some of these pieces and I'm just going to fold them over one, two, And I take this piece and I just fold it over. I'm not being too particular about how it looks just yet. And then cut that off. Cut that off. And voila, we got ourselves a cute little pad there. <coughs> trying not to waste as much as I can. Doesn't always happen that way, but you can try. You know, if you try not to waste your stuff as you're making, it makes it much easier to make than if you, again, just didn't do anything. So we got two little pads here. I'm just gonna stick them inside here. Well, actually, I'm gonna go grab my bin for decorating these because these are going to be a part of the going to grandma's house ideas.
so we will be making a lot of stuff in the next few videos of the going to grandma's stuff. my lovely little basket and tray here. These are cute little stickers. Again, it's just a great way to get stuff pre-made, ready to go. Lots of tabs and stuff like that. Not a lot of, like, here's more pockets. That's what these are. Our pockets. And more pockets. And more pockets. Not a lot to decorating with, other than these cute little tabs, but. So we'll use one of, or these tabs too, to, for this one, I think. 